It's Ron Brown with your Being Truly Well Minutes for today. And today I want to talk about something that has always occurred to me, and, and it's probably the next thing we should probably talk about. And that is, what is it going to take? Think about that for a minute. What is it going to take to bring me closer to the connection to the things that I should be doing in my life? The things I am meant to do in this life? Well, number one is awareness. You need to truly understand what it is you're going to do. And to do that, we've talked about how you need to really start listening to your inner self. To be quiet, to be still and quiet, and know truly what you are meant to do by meditational and focus and prayer. Um, but also from testing things out. Remember we talked about that yesterday, how a friend could point you in a direction and you could say, hmm, let me try that. And try it volunteering a day at a, a facility, helping people to see if that's what you'd like to do. See how it fits. Just like, um, uh, and ladies do this more than men, but go and you try on the shoes and you walk around, you look in the mirror and see how they look before you buy those expensive shoes. Well, that's the way you should be about your life. Um, you know, you need to try things on, make sure they're a good fit. Make sure it feels good inside and out. And that it's going to be what's going to bring you deep and lasting love. And what do I mean by lasting love? Well, you should always love what you do and do what you love. And the universe or God or whoever you believe in is not going to ask you to do something that just always feels wrong to you. You might be a little apprehensive, little butterflies in the stomach at first, but you're going to know that it's a good fit as you get further and close, further away from what you were and transform and become what you are. You will start feeling, hey, that feels good. Hey, that's right. Ah, I can hear it. You can feel the vibrational pull uh, drawing you toward your destination, your mission that only you can create. Your embryonic truth that's within you will only light up and only sing like choirs of angels if you're living with passion towards your goal, not as your roommate, but permeating through your entire being. And you will feel yourself being drawn to people. Just yesterday, I went to Jiffy Loop to get my car loop before I go to an interview today that's a little further away. And I could have gone to any Jiffy Loop. I live in Elkton, Maryland, so I could have gone in the one in Elkton. But I chose to go to the one in Newark. And when I went in there, I had three wonderful conversations with three different people. And the last one was somebody that I actually shared about embryonic truth. And it turned out, she said, you know, that, oh, I finally hear that from somebody. I've been thinking that all along, but... You know, I finally hear it from somebody. And the one thing that occurred to me is there are no accidents. There are no mistakes. We're meant to be where we are. But we're also meant to always be moving forward. What if I said, yeah, you know what, I'll get the Jiffy Loop done after the interview. Or I'll do something else. Or I won't do anything. Then I would have missed out meeting one of the most wonderful people that I've had a conversation with in quite a long time. Turns out she's been thinking about the very same things that I've been thinking about. And the universe does bring us together with people of like-mindedness. And it was a great conversation, and, you know, we didn't exchange phone numbers or anything, but I know that that conversation is something that's going to benefit us both. And, uh, you know, there was other conversations there that were really wonderful. Met a retired couple, and um, they talked about how they moved to this area because they, they truly felt led to live here after their children had gone to the University of Delaware. And how, you know, they said, oh, when we retire, that's where we're going to go. Well, that occurred to me. Ah, they had a passion. They knew that they loved here. They knew they loved the area. And they, they lived in upstate New York in a very beautiful area. But yet they were drawn to here. And so they kept true to their vision, made sure that they were able to sell their house and buy a home here and move down here and been living here for two years now. And, or a year now, excuse me, a year. Um, and, you know, it's amazing to me. They were passionate about what they wanted to do with their lives. They prayed on it together. They were a religious family. 
and they talked about their church and how when you're on a snowy road, they shared a story, um, you know, you keep going, you don't stop or you get stuck. And I was like, ah, you know, you get those aha moments. And that was one of those that kind of validated some of the other things I've been saying in our, in our vlogs and, and, uh, in throughout my life is if you're truly passionate about where you want to be, you don't get stuck. You don't stop when it gets a little tough. You keep going. So that, that truly was a blessing to me. So what I was talking about today is that you must never, ever give up on yourself. You must not lose your focus. You must find what you're meant to do. And to do that, one of the best things you can do is listen. We talked about how you can be still and know that he is God. And be still and listen to what the universe has for you. Once you get rid of those whispers of negative voices, you can find what your true passion is. Try it out for a day. Go volunteer. See how it fits. Like a pair of shoes that a woman tries on. Like I said, you know, she's going to try them out. She's going to make sure they fit, that they look good. Then she's willing to make that purchase. But you have to first try them on. If you just buy the shoes, they might not fit. They might be too small or too big. Then you have to go back and exchange them. And, you know, so there are lots of things in life just like that. You have to try them on. You have to see what's going to happen. But don't give up. You know, I remember an interview I saw on Oprah with uh, J.K. Rowling. She talked about how she was on a train from Manchester, and the whole idea of Harry Potter came to her on that train. She didn't have a pen or a piece of paper to write it down on, but it just clicked one thing after another. And she knew that if she wrote it, she was told within her spirit, within herself, that it would, if she got it published, it would be successful. And she talked about how it took a long time, many no's, before she got the yes to get it published. And then, boom, here we are, everybody today knows the name Harry Potter, knows the, the series. And it's because she never gave up on her passion. You know, and I think of lots of people. Thomas Edison tried many, 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 many elements before he found the right one to make the light bulb work. And, you know, he could have given up. Oh, you know, I've tried 8,000. Nothing works. I guess we we'll, won't have light. But he finally found the 10,000th element. And when someone asked him, you know, why did you, uh, why didn't you give up? He says, well, I found 9,999 things that didn't work. Then I found the one that did. He says, I'm successful. <laughs> he also had trouble getting funding from banks. He went to many, many, many banks. I read this in Napoleon Hill's book, Thinking Grow Rich that he went to many bankers and they came and saw his inventions and said, that'll never work. You should just give up on that. But he didn't stop. He kept going. Why? He knew in his heart, in his inner self, in his true embryonic truth, what he was destined to do was invent the light bulb and invent many other things. So I want you to think about that today. What are you here to do? What are you willing to do? Are you willing to literally stay on focus, on track to what you're meant to do in life? You know, I'm looking for the next employer who's going to be wanting to hire me for my gifts and talents. And that that experience will lead me ever closer to my goal. Yes, I want to become a published author. Yes, I want to speak to groups. Yes, I'd love to do comedy again. Um, you know, I remember trying out for comedy sports and I made it to the semifinals and I didn't make the final cut. And I learned from that experience though, how much I loved doing improv and acting, how I loved making people laugh. I love making people get that aha moment. And so I'm coming ever closer to my goal. So where does the road lead for me? I don't know. Today it leads south, just north of Baltimore. And is that where I'm going to live next? Is that where I'm going to work next? And what things will I learn to help me get even closer to my life's passion? It's exciting. It's 58 miles for me.
to get there for the interview today. But I'm going with a great excitement. And what's your next adventure? What are you willing to do? Are you going to get in your proverbial car, in your virtual car in your mind? Are you going to test drive it? Are you going to take it where it needs to go to see if it's a good fit? Or are you going to settle for the status quo? It's up to you. But I hope that you truly, truly are authentic with yourself and that you truly get in touch with your embryonic truth and live it every day and listen to it pounding and drawing you and vibrating you closer to what only you, and I, I mean this firmly, only you can create in your sphere of influence what you are meant to do. Would be that a mom, be that a barber, be that a person that helps people with disabilities, whatever you're passionate about, make it happen. Listen to it. Be authentic to yourself. And when those halls of embryonic truth start vibrating, you'll hear the choirs of validation tingle throughout your whole body. Have you ever heard something and then you get tingles all over your whole body going, oh, yeah, that sounds so true. You know, that lady at Jiffy Loop yesterday, she said that to me. Oh, I've been waiting to hear that. Thank you for saying that. I've been thinking that for so long. Hmm. There are no accidents in the universe. Things happen for a reason. And I know, truly, from within my very being, that you are meant to live a passionate and truthful and authentic life. This is Ron Brown with Being Truly Well Minutes.